write a function, a line, that takes in a list of strings and a letter and prints the following pattern where the letter in each word is aligned vertically. So here, let's say we align this bunch of words and we pass in A as a letter. So here, notice that A is aligned vertically. Similarly, let's say we use the same words, but we pass in E instead of A. And here, the first E of every string will be aligned vertically. So here, if a word does not contain our letter, do not print it. So in this case, durian does not contain E, so we do not print durian at all. And next, if a word contains more than one instance of a letter, use the first one. So here, pineapple contains two E's, but we only use the first one. So do pause this video and take some time to give this a go before taking a look at the answer. So first things first, let's define a line. So it takes in a bunch of strings and a letter. So here we write our function body. So before we jump right into writing our function, let's break down how we want this to work. So here, let's say we have apple, orange, pear, pineapple, and durian. And we are using the letter A. So here we have apple. And next we have orange. So here we want to align the A. So A, O, R, A, N, G, E. So here we must put two spaces in front of apple for A to be aligned. And next we have pear. So there's an A in pear. So P, E, A, and R. So similarly, there are two letters in front of A, so no change. And next we have pineapple. So A, so here we have P, I, N, E, A, P, P, L, E. So here, notice that A is the fifth letter of pineapple, which means that we have to add two spaces here, two spaces here, and another two spaces here. And finally, we have durian. So we write an A here. So D, U, R, I, A, N. So same as pineapple, there are four letters in front of A. So we do not need to make any changes. So here, notice that I'm going to have four spaces in front of A, two spaces in front of orange, and two spaces in front of pear. So we have four, two, and two. So we have zero and zero. So this is the number of spaces. And here, this actually depends on the index of A. So here, A is at zero. So this is zero. A is at zero, one, two. This is at two. This is at two. And here, A is at zero, one, two, three, four. So here, do you notice a pattern? So the number of spaces plus the index of A is equals to 4. And how do we get 4? 4 is actually the largest index of A here. So here, for each string, we first print n times empty space, followed by our string. And this n is going to be 4 minus the index of A. So this works for E2. So let's start with Apple. So E is here. And next, we are going to write orange. So E, G, N, A, R, O. So here, notice that orange has five letters in front of E. And because of this, we need to add one space in front of Apple. And next we have pair. So pair is the second letter, so it is simply here. And because of this, we need to add space, 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 and space. And finally, we have pineapple. So E, P, I, N, E, A, P, P, L, E. And here, we add two spaces here. Next, we have durian, but durian does not have an E, so we simply do not print it. So here, E is aligned vertically if we have four spaces in front of pear, two spaces in front of pineapple, zero spaces in front of orange, and one space in front of apple. So once again, our max index of E is going to be for orange. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is going to be 5. So index of 
E in Apple is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So for orange, it's going to be 5. For pear, it's going to be 1. And for pineapple, it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. So notice that 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. And 2 plus 3 is also equal to 5. So here, for each string, we print n times empty space. And then we print our string. And to determine n, we are going to have 5 minus our index of e. So now, we can put this into practice. So first things first, let's find all the indexes of our letter. So here, for string in strings, let's print string dot find letter. And here, let's test it on our list. So if we run this, we are going to get 0, 2, 2, 4, 4, which is correct. So here we have indexes is equals to empty list and let's actually add this into indexes using a pen. So here I'm going to print indexes and we are going to get 0, 2, 2, 4, 4. So similarly, if I change this to an E, I'm going to get the indexes of E. So 4, 5, 1, 3 and minus 1. So minus 1 just means that E does not exist and this is correct because durian does not have an E inside. So let's add another function call so that we can check both A and E at the same time. And next, we need to find the maximum index. And we can do this using the max function. And if we run this, we are going to get 4 and 5, which is correct. So next, let's actually assign this to max index. And for string in strings, we need to print space times something and plus string and here this something is simply max index minus our index of e so string dot find letter once again so let's comment this out and let's run this for a first and if we run this we are going to get the correct output so here i'm going to have four spaces in front of apple two spaces in front of orange and two spaces in front of pear and here notice that our a's are aligned vertically so next, I'm going to change this to an E, and let's check. So here, we have apple, orange, pear, pineapple, and durian. So here, notice that E is aligned vertically, but we have this additional durian over here. So next, we have to put this inside the if block. So if letter in string. So let's run this once again. And we have the correct answer. And now notice that durian is gone. So here, regarding this statement, if a word contains more than one instance of letter, use the first one. So this is actually already accounted for in the find function. So here, by default, the find method will actually help us find the first index of letter that is found in string. So thanks for watching and hopefully this was clear and easy to understand. See you in the next one.